This is a protective style, so we have to protect our hair underneath. Hola Chanelis, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. My name is Jayla, also known as Jay Chanelli on the internet, so that is where you can find and follow me. And today I'm gonna show you how I refresh my old braids. If you wanna see how I maintain my box braids, go ahead and keep on watching. So a little update for my last video. This is what my hair is currently looking like after two plus weeks in my box braids and cornrows. I actually showed you how I installed these box braids in my last video. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll leave it in the cards as well as in the description box below. So a couple of things I like to tackle whenever I'm refreshing my hair is First of all, the sheen or shine of my hair. I want my hair to look nice and shiny and healthy. Second thing is dry scalp. So if you watched my last video, you know that I definitely, definitely suffer from dry scalp. Um, sometimes I deal with it, sometimes I leave it be. It honestly just depends. But when my hair is in braids especially, I really, really like to make sure that I'm attending to that scalp because nobody wants to walk around with like crusty, flaky, dry scalp when you have braids in. It's super noticeable, super obvious. So let me show you a couple of things that I like to do to just, you know, get myself together. You will need a couple of tools. The first one being a spray bottle filled with water. The second one being the edge control or gel of your choosing. I will be using the Thank Me Later Edge Gel. I do already have a review of this product on my channel. Candy Danny toothbrush, you know. You will also need the oil of your choice. I'm currently using the Melanin Hair Care Multi-Use Pure Oil Blend, as you can see. We running out, okay? Last thing you'll need is the most important product, I think, whenever you're doing braids or you have braids, and it is some mousse. So, first step is tackling that dry scalp, and we're gonna use our oil to do this. I really like this oil because it has an easy applicator, and all I'm gonna do, y'all, is go through and make sure my scalp is oiled down. This is something that I'm very bad at. Scalp maintenance, she needs a little help in that area. Once I'm done adding the oil, I'm just gonna take the tips of my fingers and I'm gonna massage my scalp. Something else I absolutely have to do is apply oil to the very front of my hair, my hairline. And this is just to break up all the products that I may have been adding over the weeks to do my edges, you know, all the gels and stuff. Add some oil just to help break that product up. I did have some buildup over here, so I'm just gonna make sure I focus on that area and step one is done. We have now canceled dry scalp, okay? So the second thing that I like to do in my whole box braid maintenance is make sure that I'm using mousse to tame our flyaways. Here's the thing, when you're using mousse, you're putting it on to tame the flyaways, but you do have to be really quick in making sure that you're also putting on a scarf after. Cause uh, guess what? First ingredient in mousse is water, sis. So if you don't put that scarf on, those little curls will just start to pop, pop, pop out of your brain, you'll just defeat the purpose of using mousse. Use as much of this as you want to. I've been seeing the Twitter videos of people applying mousse and just like rubbing it in and those videos are so satisfying y'all. Especially if you've, if you've experienced putting mousse on your scalp right after getting braids, you know how good it feels because sometimes your scalp has a little bit of tension and that cool mousse just like, ugh. Oh. Apply a good amount especially to those cornrows, y'all. So as you can see, I'm just raking the mousse down. We love this step, y'all. If you can't tell, we really do love this step. Okay, so we allowed the mousse to marinate for a little bit, and now I'm gonna go ahead and take my scarf off. And I don't know if y'all can see, I still do have a couple of flyaways, and that's because my hair is still pretty wet from that mousse. If you're doing this in real life, you'll have to let that scarf sit on for like a good little while until that mousse actually dries down, and then it will dry your flyaways down with it. Last but certainly not least, I'm gonna go in and tame these edges using my Think Me Later Edge Gel by Old Virgin Hair. Honey, she the truth. You want your edges to last, this is what you need to use. So I like to put my edge control directly onto my toothbrush like you were brushing your teeth. And then I just go in and apply it like so. Good. 
and then start to swoop it out. For me, this is the most important side to swoop because this is where all my hair is coming out of those corners. <laughs> that was rude. So this is our final product after we've touched up and maintained our braids. These braids are gonna last you as long as you want them to, sis. I plan to keep my braids in for a few more weeks, at least two more weeks. Now, keep in mind, your hair will not look like it was just installed. It's physically impossible for your hair that is constantly growing to look the exact same as it was when it's installed. So do what you can, this is what I do. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so, 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 so much for getting us to 10K on this channel. We need a new goal now. What the heck, let's say 100K. So now hit that subscribe button so we can get to 100K, from 10K to 100K just like that. Do not forget to also hit that like button so that YouTube can notify other people and share with other people. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.